was critical today and has been critical of President Trump's, former President Trump's deal with the Taliban. Given that, I'm wondering if this administration or if this president gave any consideration to not holding on to former President Trump's special envoy to Afghanistan, who stayed on. Uh, look, I think the, the President wanted to be clear about what he was left when he took office. And he laid that out very clearly in his speech. Uh, but just to reiterate, since you gave me a couple an opportunity, a couple of the points. Um, when the President took office, there was a deadline that was just three months away that included for May 1st. That included no requirement that the Taliban work out a cooperative governing agreement with the Afghan government. It did release 5,000 prisoners last year, including some of the Taliban's top war commanders. So the president was walking into that circumstance. Uh, he wanted to leave Afghanistan. It's a war he has long felt we needed to depart from. He's, feel, he's felt that was long overdue. Uh, but that was the circumstance he walked into. And frankly, there's a little bit of selective memory loss from some of the people who served in the last administration about these circumstances. But my question was actually, why, why hold on to the, the, the Afghan envoy, the US envoy to Afghanistan, who served under President Trump? Why did President Biden hold on to him? The President has made changes where he saw fit and has not made changes where he felt the person continued to be the right person for the job. That's not a political decision. Go ahead. Thanks,